Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the second session on the payment certificates. Um, we're going to go do payment certificate two, following on payment certificate one that we've done the previous time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take payment certificate one and we're going to update it with uh, payment certificate two. So um, the question uh, for the second payment certificate or the information that you will be given is um, something in the line of the following. So we will have in month two, you recorded the following proce progress on site. And the measuring date is the 22nd of August. You would remember the first uh, payment certificate was the 22nd of July. So this is a month later. So um, uh, the P's and G's went up uh, to 10% from 5%. And then in section two, bill one, not much happened. Um, so we uh, measured 100% for item 11 and 100% for item 12. Then in um, bill two of section two, we measured item number one, 100%, item two, um, 100%, and five and six. So we're going to run through that process of how one actually does um, a payment certificate following on a next payment certificate. So it's still very basic, but it's for um, just for clarity on exactly how uh, what processes needs to be followed. So one takes the information provided in the question um, and one takes the payment certificate of the previous month and one basically updates uh, that payment certificate uh, to get to the new payment certificate. So I've opened the previous payment certificate as um, was applied to you. So now you get uh, to your office, you've done all the measurement work, you've recorded all of the information that we've spoken about uh, earlier on, month two, and we've got the 22nd of August. So we're going to populate our uh, payment certificate according to this. Okay, so um, first things first uh, is you record what payment certificate is, um, when it was measured. Okay, one can see that it's actually um, brought forward from um, the other, from the sum um, page. But um, what I usually do is I just take this one and take it forward to, to the other one. So I'm just going to update this to 22 August. Okay. And it was 2018. Let me just update this 2018. Okay. So here's all of our information. This will change as we go along. So you will see it's already populated, but we'll just change the context as soon as we get there. Okay. So just also remember to. Um, rename all of the uh, sheet names and so on. This is not really applicable to you, but um, once you get into practice, this is the areas where little small mistakes creep creep in. So uh, first things first, so this is the payment certificate um, page. Then uh, one has the um, summary page. So you do the same on this side. So just make sure that everything refers to this payment certificate and then it will change to august okay on this side okay so i'm just going to going to zoom in so before you do anything or any work uh, on your payment certificate you should um, make sure that it's set up so that if you populate it it will just automatically update um, the pages in front of uh, you obviously you will do it manually in the exam so um, it will be the same process, but we're going to run through the processes and um, you will do the same. You will be provided with an updated um, sheet anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, first things first, remember what I um, discussed the previous time, uh, your payment certificates all is always measured up to all of the work and then you subtract the previous payment certificate from this payment certificate. So a simple thing 
um, now would be just to update um, your less your previous um, certificate amount so in Excel it's an uh, it's easy to just update um, your um, amount so what you take is your previous gross valuation and you insert it to your um, amount paid previously okay and then you will see everything changes to zero on this side um, I'm just going to make it values only that there's no formulas or anything so what you will do here is you will write all um, your previous amounts in here uh, and then what you will see is you've got your um, gross valuation at this stage minus your uh, previous certificate um, uh, previous gross amount and thus you will have a payment certificate of zero when you start out okay so um, that's the basics we, we're going to do the same in our bill of quantities as well okay so then we get to um, so our summary sheet is set up it's zero and now we're ready to run with our actual measurement in our bills of quantities okay so we go to our bills of quantities so i've included um, bill number two um, in this one as well so you would see um, what will happen now is you will have your um, payment certificates as you did it the previous time so a very um, simple thing that um, that you should do now is basically populate your previous payment certificate amounts first so your um, your certificate uh, or your cumulative value you just take those amounts okay and this is now again it won't be this um, easy in this payment certificate so what you will do is you will take those items and you will put it into your um, previous certificate so your previous certificate just make it the values only okay so we've only got the values so you will see this certificate the amounts change to zero so what we've done is we've taken our cumulative um, certificate amount we put it in our previous payment certificate amount and the two subtracted from each other is basically zero well it is zero okay so sort that out okay so you will see this is what our amounts add, add up to okay so we've paid 244 thousand um, previously now uh, we just need to add our um, items completed so what we've uh, what we have if we just quickly have a look at um, bill one uh, item 11 and 12 changes to 100 percent okay so let's search for item um, 11 and 12 so we've completed these two items the excavations for these and um, thus we can change it to 100 percent so um, i'm just going to put it in here we always just keep track of uh, the payment certificates here in the uh, sideline so this will be 100 percent 100 percent so what you will do is you will change this percentage to 100 percent okay Okay, so you will see that uh, there isn't really much change that happened it's more about the concept than really the amount so you will see in uh, just by completing these items the contractor made 13 rand um, on the first item and the second item he made 58 uh, rand 50 okay so you will see it will add up then to 71 rand for this particular bill obviously you did more work in um, bill number two so uh, we're going to look at bill number two um, um, now for the items that was actually completed okay so what you do is you go to your question so bill number two section two bill two um, we have item one 
um, 2, 5 and 6 which was completed during the month so um, just to um, put in the percentages here so we've got um, item 1 and 2 this and then we've got that one and then five and six we had the same progress of a hundred percent so I'm just putting it in here for now okay, so we've got items um, one two five and six so let's do our first one so the f this is the first time that it's being measured on this side so it's it's very easy to actually keep track of so you've got your um, item so you've progressed 100% with this one so you will see um, what will happen now is we did a blinding for item one so it didn't carry um, a lot of weight and uh, we inserted that so it's 100% for that one and 100% for this one and you will see that this certificate um, amounts to 225 uh, and 1500 and the cumulative one is still the same because there's no previous certificate that was paid out and then we just do the same for items five and six okay so you can see um, the strip footing um, amounted to uh, quite a large amount and then again you just add it up to the summary of the bill okay you will see there's a lot of items that was included in this um, bill so you can see that it it adds up to 142,000 uh, for um, for this payment certificate and then remember it's uh, the amount that you take forward to your summary sheet is the cumulative amount and not this payment certificate amount so it's your cumulative amount that you take forward so it's 142,000 and 244,000 and we take it forward to our summary sheet okay so you will see that it actually um, took it over to uh, to this side okay and then uh, these amounts we'll, we're going to run through this as well then the P's and G's uh, we shouldn't forget about that it is always on your summary sheet it's 10% um, that's calculated on your summary sheet so just going back here your item okay so um, it is 10% take the right amount so this is 881,000 uh, times 10 percent so you will see our uh, payout on the P's and G's um, is 88,000 in total okay so just to run through the columns again material on site um, there's no material on site there's no material off site as mentioned previously these columns uh, will not really apply to you and then we've got our current valuation of 88,000 and then we subtract our 10% retention we get to our current valuation contract price adjustment again not applicable to you that is um, subtracted or added depending on what the index says you get to your gross valuation and then you will see here the important section comes in you subtract your amount previously certified um, and uh, you get to your net amount um, and then you add that to that so on this payment certificate for peace and cheese the contractor will get 45,000 okay now remember uh, we've done our only small changes to our earthworks so what will happen now is you will see it will it will run through and then you subtract your amount on this side and you will see that it's only 64 rand and 35 cents just remember this will not be the same as what you've got here on this side um, because you've got a 10% retention that's subtracted on this side also so just be aware of that that it won't necessarily be the same okay 
so um, that's your net amount of value you add your VAT to that and you get your um, amount paid out on that item same happens with your um, concrete work a build two that we've done so we've gotten to 128,000 that's being paid out to the contractor there's zero amount subtracted and we get to our valuation or net amount paid out to our contractor on this payment certificate okay and um, uh, and that is added to that okay and then you add up these columns or basically all of the columns you add up to the bottom so you've got your I'm just going to zoom out quickly so you've got your um, amounts um, paid out to date for for the contractor added up here um, to the bottom of this section summary that is then added up to get your subtotal no electrical work or anything was done um, during um, month two so uh, then you just run through the same process processes again your total amount subtracted etc you add that on um, to your total amount paid out and um, these two amounts as a check um, should add up and this is what I usually do here so I just do a check whether these two amounts including that actually are the same okay so that is the amount that we've uh, or work that we've done so now the main important thing is to get your payment certificate so you've got your um, value of work done your value of work executed so remember on pay on your payment certificate you're going to run through all of these columns again so what you want to do is you want to take over the amount that has or the value of work done in total okay so what you've done or what you've got is uh, 475,000 so you take that forward to your um, payment certificate um, sheet materials on site there's no materials on site there's uh, no material off site so your security adjustment is 10% of that amount so you calculate that you get to your um, current amount certified is uh, 428,000 now and then you subtract your payment or your contract price adjustment zoom in here so, so th and that's zero so your gross um, amount certified is um, 438,000 Okay, then you subtract your previous um, certificate amount okay, and this amount is actually not correct so uh, what we will do is let me just make sure it should be the previous payment certificate uh, should be uh, 259 this is actually correct so uh, where I got that just as a double check is um, you take your previous payment certificate okay so I've opened that so here we are and actually it's actually correct so it's uh, 259,963 rand and 25 cents so okay does it allow me to oh, there we go just to move it away so um, you you subtract that from your gross valuation to get to your new payment certificate amount of 168,000 um, less uh, expenses to your um, loss to your employer penalties damages um, that might be paid out to your contractor uh, and then you basically add that um, add or subtract those but it won't be applicable to you and then you've got your um, subtotal here and then you just add that to that to get to 193 thousand four hundred and eighty one rand and twenty cents okay and so now i've built a uh, little check in here as well that i usually just check whether everything um, co um corresponds so we've got um one ninety three thousand this on this side let's just check on this side and the calculation says it's correct okay so here we've 
um, got 193,000 as well. So yes, we can see our summary sheet and our payment certificate too actually amounts to the right amount. Okay, so then um, you just calculate your um, percentage complete, which is your gross valuation. Okay, I've done it before that. Um, divided by your contract sum also before that and you get to the total payout percentage to your contractor then you add your um, just remember to make your tick here in the box um, in the sheet that will be pr provided so just uh, make sure that you you complete the um, payment certificate in full you can also sign it if you want to I'm not going to give you a mark for the uh, signing of it I will um, give you a mark for the uh, percentage complete and also ticking the right box um, in on your payment certificate okay so that is more or less everything um, for payment certificate 2 um, I'll do a payment certificate 3 uh, for you as well um, soon and post that for you as well Thanks everyone, keep well.